Hi guys, this is Mrs. Kinnear, and this is actually a project for both my Above and Beyond class and my JK class. What I thought would be a great way to finish off our end of the year strong and in keeping with things that we've done all year long is to study one more artist. And when I was trying to think of a way to find an artist that would be really somebody that we could study and learn about together under these hard situations and circumstances without all of our art materials from school, I thought one person who has done art using photography and cameras and taking pictures is a man named Ansel Adams. And he also did a lot of photography in nature. And I felt like those are two things that might be um, accessible to us. Nowadays, we have these amazing cameras on our phones that are always with us. Some of us might have one of those Polaroid Instax cameras that take um, little Polaroid pictures that are print out immediately. And some of our mommies and daddies might be real good um, photographers and have a fancy camera that they might help us to take pictures with. Um, over the next few days that we have together. So I'm going to read you a couple of stories about Ansel Adams and who he was as a person and an artist. And then I'm also going to put together a little um, picture taking project that maybe we can do together over the course of the next few days. And what I would love for you guys to do is if you want to send me some pictures that you're taking at home, I would be happy to print them out and put them together in a photo album for you to keep. This is called Ansel Adams and his camera. Ansel begged his parents to take him to Yosemite. And that's in one of our national parks. He got a camera there, and Ansel learned to see. He saw the sharp-edged mountains. He pictured them in black and white. He showed us rocks and arches. He showed us day. He showed us night. He traveled across the states. He watched the wind-blown waves. He hiked the highest trails, went in the deepest caves. Ansel saw a winter storm. He saw a quiet lake. He saw a shining river winding like a snake. Ansel found a canyon with a grove of aspen trees. Ansel got a camera and taught us how to see. And he didn't really learn how to see. He'd always been able to see. But he learned how to see things from a new perspective and maybe to stop and look and notice things around us and notice God's beauty in his creation. And he would stop and he would take pictures of it. Um, and he would capture it in his pictures. I'm excited for our journey together through this study, friends.